Yo, what's up guys? Turn Green Go Ham here and welcome back to the channel. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on the Dark Souls 3 100% walkthrough. So uh, in this walkthrough, we're actually going to focus on um, all of the character Indeed. quests that we can. And I'm sure we've all seen this before, so we're just going to... We're going to cut most of the cutscenes, the long ones. Uh, we'll, we'll leave uh, boss intros and things like that. Let's go ahead and name it. I'll go with our flagship name here, Ham. Uh, male. Yeah, that'll work. There are some uh, female uh, things in the game. Not as much as in Demon Souls, but I think... Uh, actually, just so that we can uh, wear some of the other op options, we'll, we'll go female. Uh, we will be uh, doing Sirius's quest, so we'll have her armor, stuff like that. Uh, class, we're starting as a Pyromancer. We're going to do a, well, eventually it'll be an Omni caster build. But to start, we'll definitely be going uh, Pyromancer to get going. So for the Burial Gift, um, you know, Fire Gem's not a bad idea to start since everything's weak to fire. However, uh, we're going to get a really, really nice weapon early. Uh, and we're going to be using our raw gem for that um, because we won't be putting a lot into strength and dexterity in this build. Uh, the raw will really give us the, the oomph we need for early game. So I think instead we're just going to go ahead and take the soul. Um, we could take black fire bombs. That would help with uh, uh, Udex Gunder. But uh, yeah, we'll just take the soul. I'm not too worried about appearance on this game. So we'll go ahead and Finish it there. And let's get into it. Okay, so uh, we are going to start as Pyromancer. Um, we're going to be, you know, working up our spells and things like that. Um, but we do plan on doing quite a lot as far as... Um, melee um you know the thing about this game is you split your estus between um your mp and your health uh so we're gonna want to you know have a good mix be able to do uh plenty of good damage as melee as well one of the first weapons we'll go after is well let's just be honest i know it's uh i know it's bland but uh, the Claymore. Claymore's just really, really good. Go ahead and knock all these guys out. And we'll get on to our Crystal Lizard. Oh, ooh, missed you. Get on to our Crystal Lizard over here. Let's see, which hand do you start with Pyro Flame? That one? Okay. gonna run in and get some melee damage on him first I think here comes the breath go ahead and switch to throwing some fireballs here Not a terribly tough enemy. Of course, the second I say that's when he's going to turn around and nail me, but hey, I guess we'll find out. Really just a uh, battle of attrition here. 
He's definitely meant to be uh, something you come back and kill later, but that being said, uh, I'll never shy away from a skill check in any of the FromSoft games. There we go. He's down. First tight knot scale right out of the gate. All right, let's continue our trek onto Udex Gundir. So uh, I don't know if you guys know much about this guy, uh, but basically one of his names means judge, Udex. The other means battle, Gundir. So he's your battle judge. Basically another word for a skill check boss. Those who can beat him are, uh, are allowed to proceed and you know, go after the uh, linking of the flame. Don't forget to rest here. Grab your free emote. Even if you don't need it, cop squat. Go ahead and get this guy to notice us. There's another guy around the corner, that's why I like to pull him over here. Ooh! Messed up. Misjudged the reach. Alright, that's enough. Settle down, sir. Here we go. One of these guys, if you're lucky, will drop a Cleric's Charm. That'll get you uh, started with Miracles. And line this up. And we're going to jump and grab that Titanite Shard. There you go. Cleric Shaker Charm. Accidental emote. I've never been a fan of the uh, controller shortcuts for emotes. Uh, I always find myself emoting in the worst possible uh, situation. I don't think you can turn them off either, is the sad thing. Alright, so here we are. We're at our skill check. Uh, basically, in his first phase, we're just going to beat him up with the axe. In the second phase, we'll go ahead and uh, get in there and uh, do some fireballs since he is weak to fire in the second phase. I don't know if you know this, but there's actually a cheese for this guy. If you've got a bow starting out and you hit him in the head, you can actually keep him from uh, doing anything to make it a really easy fight. I mean, it kind of is an easy fight anyway. And that ought to do it right there. Not much of a battle judge. We got our coiled sword, coiled sword fragment. Go ahead and light the bonfire at the uh, main hub, Firelink Shrine. So guys, uh, I'm from Texas, and uh, right now, the end of February 2021, uh, we just made it through uh, the ice storm. I know everybody's making fun of Texans for not being able to drive right now, uh, but I have a uh, you know two-wheel drive truck, no snow tires, all that good stuff. So it was definitely fun getting around. Um, I did not uh, get in a wreck or anything. We we made it to work and back, but uh, you know 
electricity in and out, boiling water. It was it was not fun at all. Our uh, it appears our water treatment plants were not prepared for this, so uh, we all ended up having to boil every uh, every type of water for consumption. So that was awesome. Uh, in case you're wondering why I'm not a lot of videos lately, that's pretty much it. I've been busy. This is Sparta. <laughs> Goodbye. If you don't kick that guy, I, then I like I don't understand you. There's there's no reason not to kick him. We'll have a doggo around the corner here. Go ahead and pop the shield on for that. Got quite a few things to grab around Firelink. And an enemy to kill for uh, a decent dex weapon. Go ahead and go over here and grab our... Uh, oh, we'll kill these other... Um, hollows over here. And then we'll grab our east-west shield. It's a slight upgrade to the Kadusha shield that we have on. Oops. Lock-on. I hate it when the lock-on doesn't grab and your camera just spins around. That's one of the things about this game. You can be in full range, you can be in the camera, but sometimes it just doesn't grab him. Uh, so interesting thing about these guys up here on the stairs, you can see them here. You can walk up to them and just destroy them. If you approach that item right there in the tree, they'll come alive and come after you. So they're pretty much just item guardians here. Go ahead and pop that on. As you can see, kind of an upgrade across the board there. It did take us out of fast roll, but to be honest, we need to be uh, used to medium rolls anyway. Uh, we are going to use bigger weapons with this build, um, so it's going to be impossible to keep that fast roll. Unless we just run around naked, which you know you can always do in Dark Souls, not a big deal. Armor in Dark Souls 3 is really not all that helpful. Um, at least in my opinion. I think you're much better off, um, you know, just having the weapon and, and the, you know, the attack and the, and the defense style that you prefer, whether it be roll or, uh, parry, whatever you, whatever you prefer. It seems to work quite a bit better. So here's Firelink Shrine. We'll get around to all that shortly. First, we got some stuff to do upstairs. Right there, you got a seed of a giant tree that will fall there. Um, that allows you to uh, turn the enemies against invaders if you're getting invaded. So uh, that will only happen every so many bosses. You'll have to come back and check. And then we're going to make a little uh, run jump onto the roof here. No telling how many times this will take. I'm pretty good. There we go. Second try. Uh, and then we're going to grab all this stuff on top of the roof. Work our way around. Go ahead and take care of... Uh, as we call him Uchibro, uh, the master, the sword master. So he'll see us here and he'll come over here. He's really easy if you're a pyromancer. You just kind of come over here and hang out. He'll eventually kind of get in this pocket here. And then all you gotta do is fireball him. Careful though, you will jump, kind of drop off this ledge, and it'll be really hard to uh, get back up here. I don't want to wait until he stops right there and throw the fireball at him. Kind of inch back after you hit him. Whoops, a little too far back. Let's see if we can hit him with a with everyone from here on, otherwise we may run out of uh, fireballs here. We do have some... Uh, fire bombs that we can use, though, to finish him off. Uh, and he's really not that hard to go fight. There's several, uh, several ways you can take him down. Number one, uh, he's got a very parryable attack. Uh, number two, if you kind of, there's some stairs over there, if you kind of hang out by the stairs, he'll just try to charge you and fall off the cliff. Uh, so, many ways to take him down. We're a pyromancer though, so we're going to take him down the easy way there. 
There we go. We'll grab our first twinkling. And now before we go collect our loot uh, from Uchi Bro there, we're going to head back around this way. And for those of you uh, interested, this will be a 100%. Um, now you cannot get the, there's our crows. Uh, you cannot get the platinum in one run. And so you can cheese the endings by, uh, you know, save scrubbing, save scumming, excuse me. Uh, a little stopped up today. Uh, so you can cheese the end endings and get all three endings. Grab our Covetous Silver Serpent Ring. No reason not to put that on at this point. Uh, and you can do that, but there are spells and rings that come from boss souls, and uh, it will take multiple playthroughs for you to get all of those. But we will be covering uh, all of those as we go through the game. And we will be grabbing all the items uh, that are out there. So it will be a 100% walkthrough, and we'll talk about our covenants and all that and how we uh, go about raising those. Let's go ahead and talk to Hawkwood. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And it have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we are talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. Don't you think? <laughs> what a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. The thrones right there? We're talking true legends. Those who would link the fire. They're not fit to lick their boots. <laughs> and I believe that's it for now. Yeah. So you definitely want to check with this guy fairly often. Uh, move his storyline uh, forward. Eventually we'll be meeting up with him in uh, Arch Dragon Peak and finishing his quest line. Uh, and then of course you want to talk to the Firekeeper here. To the I I attend the law to this end. Basic. Uh, Passion one. To be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen One, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. She just kind of says some basic stuff. Not real key to uh, storyline, uh, but this is where you'll level up. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and embed the cold sword and give us a bonfire here. You can see there we've got our um, item box and things like that. We'll go ahead and get the handmaiden unlocked. I'm acquaintance, Ashen One. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. And yes, I'm undead too, but... Not so charitable as to give my goods away, Ashen One. Fetch souls and bring them to me. As is thy want, no? <laughs> okay, so this is your basic vendor. Um, if you want to do co-op, white sign soap, soapstone, that's where you'll uh, be able to put your co-op sign down. Uh, I'm not going to do too much co-op in this playthrough. What I'm going to focus on is we're going to we're going to pull in NPCs uh, for boss fights that are available. Uh, show you which ones you can summon for each boss, as well as make sure that you summon the right ones to get all of the emotes available. Um, but they all uh, she also sells you know your basic magic spells, your basic miracle things like that. You've got a, a talisman and a sorcerer's staff here. We'll probably pick that up at some point, you know, because we are going to get into both magic and, and miracles with this build. We're going to do a 40-40 split, which, you know, is not the hard cap for uh, sorcery or uh, faith. However, 
Um, you know, bosses are weak to different things, so uh, fire's not always going to cut it for us. Even dark's not always going to cut it for us, so uh, we will be getting dark eventually, but uh, we'll want to be able to have magic and, and lightning as well. Uh, so we'll definitely be, uh, you know, starting out here, grabbing some things uh, at some point. We'll go ahead and unlock our blacksmith here. I, I just realized I forgot something up top. You're in search of the Lords of Sind. A toilsome journey, I wager. You require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. Um, actually, no, I did pick it up. Okay, we got the Esther shard up top. Okay, so now we've got uh, more Estus. I actually want more fireballs. Uh, we can get by with three heals for now. Uh, the next area, there's going to be lots of bonfires. Um, only a couple of tough enemies in the area. So, we'll go ahead and leave it at 3-2 for now. Uh, and this is where you're going to upgrade your weapon. We obviously already got one Titanite shard. Um, that being said, we're not going to upgrade the hand axe. The first thing we're going to be upgrading, uh, honestly, we'll probably just roll with uh, the claymore as raw once we get the raw gem. And then um, we'll be upgrading our pyromancer glove first uh we'll have a few more vendors down here we've got to unlock those uh but as for right now we are pretty much done here uh we can go talk to lindland real quick all that unkindled and a seeker of lords i am ludleth of Corland. ludleth Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child course. This sad cadaver, no need to be coy. Have a closer look. Uh, so this guy'll just talk for right now, give you some lore. Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small. But I will die a colossus. So basically he's just telling you, you need to get all the souls, bring them here. Uh, once you do, you'll link the fire. Okay guys, so I did forget one thing, so uh, I'll pop back in. Uh, if you do happen to log out after you kill uh, Swordmaster, uh, the items will remain through one reload, thank goodness. So we're going to run out there and grab those real quick. because we totally forgot that we killed him. I say we, or it's just me. Run up here, we'll grab our Uchi Katana and our Master's Attire. There we go, Uchi Katana is really good for uh, a dex starting weapon. Uh, has good bleed, uh, all that good stuff. So uh, one other thing we're gonna do before we go is uh, we do have an opportunity uh, upstairs with the crow to trade a couple of items that you already start with at the beginning of the game. So I'm going to make this jump one more time. Hopefully it goes pretty quick. Can be a bit tricky. Go. And then you can trade with the crow up top where the nest is um, after you get the key for the tower, or you can trade with him right here. So let's go ahead. Um, he likes firebombs. Give us a large Titanite shard for later. He likes homeward bones. Ah, 
guitar emote and some iron bracelets. Uh, that's a throwback to Solaire of Astoria from um, Dark Souls 1. You get the iron bracelets, iron leggings, uh, the helm, as well as the armor of the sun and the shield. And you can uh, you can be a uh, sunbro. Uh, and then one other thing, actually. Uh, he likes uh, scribing stones. We haven't picked up one of those yet. But we did get a cleric sacred chime. Any sacred chime will do. Uh, we're going to leave this one because we can always go, you know, farm another one. And that'll give us the help me carving. If I can remember it, there we go. So, we'll never use Way of Light, so we'll put the uh, help me carving there. And now if we're ever, uh, you know, doing some, some co-op, we can, we can ask for assistance. So, uh, there you go, guys. Uh, I'll see you back in Firelink Shrine. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much everything here. Let's go ahead and level up. We'll, uh, if I can figure out which button to push here, there we go. We'll use this soul. Take that off the bar, actually, and then use this one and these. Uh, so the first thing we want to do when we get to the next area, we're going to be picking up our um, main weapon for a good chunk of the game. So uh, first thing I want to do is reach the appropriate strength and dexterity thresholds, which would be 16 and 13. So that'll take us there. We'll kind of pop some into vigor for now. Uh, intelligence and faith is going to be our primary uh, damaging damaging stats, but we're going to want to raise those equally. So um, we really want to level those up when we have enough for two points at a time, because if you level one without the other, you're not really going to get any benefit. I could put those last two points in there, but um, until we start upgrading the pyro glove and all of that, you're not going to see a whole lot of boosted damage with your fireball. Uh, fireball is really just a ranged option and um, you know it's going to take several hits for most enemies anyway, so you don't see a whole lot of return on investment early game um, until you start getting some of the big spells and the upgraded pyro glove and all of that. So uh, anyway, this will do for now. And honestly, we're at uh, we're at about 25 minutes, so we will probably go ahead and cut the episode here, and then we'll start off with uh, the High Wall of Lothric in the next episode. So uh, look for this to be about uh, for right now about an episode a day. We may crank it up to two. Uh, we are getting close to the Outriders demo, uh, and I do still want to cover Control because that is a free game for February on PlayStation Plus. So. Uh, be looking for that as well. That'll be a basic playthrough. You could call it a walkthrough, except we're not going to go and grab every single piece of lore because they're just littered everywhere. Um, this will definitely be a 100% walkthrough, though. So, uh, Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit me up in that comment section down below. And don't forget, to, uh, you've still got one more day to head over to the 100 subscribers video and sign up for the... Um, giveaway there. We're giving away a $50 gift card to your choice of gaming platform. So head over there, check that out. Till the next video, thanks for watching.